Welcome to the show, my good friend, Max Keller. Hello, Max. All right. Hey, good to be here. Let's go. It is awesome to have you here on Max. Good to see you again. You and I uh, are in a, a fellow mastermind. You and I have probably known each other now for about three years or so. And I tell you, it's just amazing to watch all the phenomenal successes and the growth of your company that you've got going on. Um, we're going to be talking about private money with you here on the show today. But before we jump in, uh, tell us, Max, how did you get into real estate? I was sort of by accident. So I, my, I was teaching uh, math at an inner city school. I was coaching football, basketball and track. And I didn't want to actually get into real estate full time. Um, I just saw it as a passive income opportunity. My pay was pretty much fixed being a teacher. And so I was like, you know, I got to do something. So my kids were getting older. So what I did was um, I just wanted to like maybe get one or two rentals a year. You know, I figured if I did that over a period of time, um, you know, I could, um, you know, have a pretty good nest egg and then pass it on. What ended up happening in 2015 was I just kind of got sucked into real estate. I mean, it's not just a good way to make money in, you know, over long periods of time, but you can really increase the active income. So I basically just got a local mentor. I worked all day as a teacher and then at night I would um, work for him. And uh, within about three months, I got a couple houses under contract wholesaled one made about 16 grand, which is like four times, four months worth of teacher pay, then did it again. And then an, another time. And then I just decided I need to go full time. And so that's what I did. I just went full time. I made the leap. It was a lot easier to source deals back then. And, you know, 2015, 2016 than it is, um, you know, right now, but uh, there's still ways to do it. You just have to, you know, know what you're doing, execute and level up your marketing. And so, that's sort of been the journey that I'm on. I'm in Dallas, Fort Worth, and it's, you know, very competitive, like a lot of markets. And so what happened with me, it was I just had to figure out a better way to do my marketing, because if you don't have leads in your business, whether they're for private money or for deals, you know, you don't have a business. So that's kind of what happened to me. It's been an amazing journey and um, it just keeps evolving every day. Mm -hmm. 